Minnesota Senate Republicans on Monday released a $2.73 billion proposal to repay the state's debt to the federal government for unemployment benefits during the pandemic and prevent a looming tax hike on businesses. Minnesota's unemployment trust fund swung from a $1.7 billion balance in January 2020 to a deficit of $1.2 billion. More than 1.3 million of Minnesotans applied for unemployment benefits from the start of the pandemic through September 2021 as businesses closed or laid off workers. Lawmakers want to use the state's projected $7.7 billion surplus and more than $1 billion in leftover federal aid to replenish the fund. They're urging fast action on the issue before a March 15th deadline when an automatic payroll tax hike would put businesses on the hook to repay the federal loan debt. If we don't get this fund, the debt repaid, and we don't restore the fund to solvency and restore the reserves, uh, these businesses are going to be hit with a large tax increase. Our businesses across the state, large and small, are still trying to recover from this pandemic. They are searching for workers and they're still struggling with supply chain issues. Is, this is not a time where they should have a significant tax increase in this first quarter, particularly a tax increase that is no, no fault of their own. Now this is both about our businesses and our workers. You know, this fund was there uh, for our workers when they got laid off, but there's no better way to kill our job growth coming out of this recession than to have this tax go on our small businesses. That is going to keep them from hiring people back. They will not be able to afford it because it's a part based on their payroll. So this is for both the workers and for our small businesses especially. GOP senators and House Democrats have both signaled support for paying back the debt and replenishing the trust fund early during the session. Democratic Governor Tim Walz also pitched a similar $2.7 billion proposal to repay the debt in his supplemental budget, ro budget rollout last month. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.